Use all your major muscle groups and exhaust them. Of, it's going to start depleting the oxygen, so it triggers your body to release nitric oxide, which is your chem the chemical in your body that causes blood vessel dilation. So it's gonna open up your arteries and your capillaries, and it's going to, and why that's so important is that when you open those up, you get a rush of oxygen and any nutrition that is in your bloodstream to your brain. These are the top organs that love the nitric oxide rush. Your brain, you will feel more alert. I want y'all to, if you're feeling a little tired right now, I want you to pay attention in a few minutes, okay? It just wakes your brain up. As a matter of fact, I had a teacher attend my talk and she said she's gonna start doing this in the day with her special needs kids. I love that. My hashtag is get America moving again, okay? And so it rushes your brain, it rushes, it. Uh, delivers oxygen and nutrition to your heart, your lungs, and your liver, and every muscle cell in your body. So what is crazy is, beginners can do it, because I'm gonna show you the modification. Advanced Elite, I promise you, if you will do this about three times a week, work it into your other workout, okay? You <laughs> will improve your stamina and speed in your whatever else you're doing. Does that make sense? And I wasn't sure I believed that, but when I discovered this, and it was designed by a doctor, and I've added on to it, okay, to make it a little more total body, but it, um, I wasn't sure I believed that, but we had moved back to Spring Hill, and the holidays hit. November, December, and January, I started, I, this is all I did. I did the nitric oxide rush probably four days a week, maybe sometimes five. I mean, three minutes, come on, you can motivate yourself for three minutes. And um, I got back on in January to my regular, pretty hard, high intensity cardio. And when I lay off that cardio for a week, two weeks max, I don't know when I, I I always pay for it. Like I, when I start the cardio, I know uh, the first workout's gonna be really hard. I'm gonna feel like I'm uh, a little out of shape. Does that make sense? I was 100%. I was floored. What this did was it actually improved my cardiovascular. That's crazy. Three minutes. Are you ready? Yeah. You excited? Ah, Woo! Be excited. Okay, let's stand up. And you might have to move out a little bit because you're going to need to do this without hitting anybody. Okay? And you're going to need to squat without sitting on the chair. You can, you can rear into the chair. That's actually a perfect way to do a squat. Show you, you've got to know your own body. Do not push harder than your body's ready for because all you need is to push at the level your body needs. Does that make sense? And you'll progress and you'll get faster. And you're going to see by the third set, I've been doing this a long time, I go pretty fast. You don't have to keep up that speed. But it is super clean moves and as fast as you can do it. Those two elements are what makes it work. So you can't go super slow once you've gotten used to it. Okay, let's practice a squat. You're gonna get your feet a little bit uh, about shoulder width and you're gonna sit back like you're sitting on a chair. Really stick it out, okay? <laughs> and then tuck it under. So it's down. And if you're new at squats, don't go deep. Go speed. Keep it high. Okay, if you're more advanced, we're gonna take it on down. Does that make sense? And then we're gonna do 10 squats. And then I'm gonna warm you up a little bit, uh, but anyway. And then we're gonna do an alternate delt lift. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull your arm up like it's hitting something. It's boom, boom, you don't Okay, it's very clean, okay? And then you're gonna do jumping jack arms. Now this is the one that if you have any shoulder problems, do this, push up 
and down. You're going to have to remember that because I'm not going to alter it. I can't think that fast. So if you have shoulder problems, push up and around. Don't do this, okay? And then we're going to do uh, overhead press. You're just going to put your thumbs on the back of your shoulder and push up. So it's like that. You want real clean. You don't want it, you know, you don't want it sloppy. It's real clean. That's it. We're gonna run through that three times. And then in 20 seconds after it's over, you're gonna know you're getting the rush. <laughs> so difficult doing jumping jacks. We're not doing jumping jacks. I don't I really don't want anybody to jump today. If you want to push it harder at home later, you can absolutely add that. And I'll tell you something I add for balance, and I may throw this in for those of you that are more uh, you know, have, have to do some balance. I do one leg because balance is super important as as we age. The number one reason people fall is they don't use their balance muscles. Okay, we could eliminate 80% of all hip replacement if we would just do balance exercise. So I do some of the arm work on one leg, you know, like, like a flamingo. Okay, <laughs> okay, just pick your knees up a little bit. I just want to warm you up a little bit. Okay, you don't want to go in totally cold because we're going to squat fast. Okay, get a big breath. You ready? Squat 10. Nine, I'm going a little slower for the first set. Three, uh, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, delt lifts. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, jumping jack arms. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, overhead press. Ten. Nine, touch that shoulder. I think it's six, five, four, three, two, squat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, delt lifts. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, jack arms. Ten, nine. Six, four, three, two, overhead press. Ten, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, ready, squat. Last set. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, delt lifts. Ten, seven, six, five, four. Jack arms, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Up shoulder press, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay, walk it out, hold your hands out, get ready, hang on, do your fingertips feel like they're getting a little fat? Okay, Tingly. you feel that? That is blood flow through every cell of your body. That is the nitric oxide rush. Woo! Woo!